بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سٹوڈنٹس آج ہم اپنی بک کا چپٹر نمبر ففٹین سٹارٹ کریں گے آرگینک کمپاؤنڈز اس چپٹر میں آپ آرگینک کیمسٹری کی ڈیفینیشن مارڈن ڈیفینیشن آرگینک کمپاؤنڈ کی ڈیفینیشن کے بارے میں پڑھیں گے پھر اس کے بعد ڈائیورسٹی اور مینگنیٹیوڈ آف آرگینک کمپاؤنڈز کے بارے میں آپ کو پڑھایا جائے گا دین وی بل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی سورسز آف آرگینک کمپاؤنڈز دین وی ول ڈسکس دا یوزز آف آرگینک کمپاؤنڈز اینڈ لیٹر آن دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک دیٹ از فنکشنل گروپ اینڈ ہومولوگا سیریز فسٹ آف آل وی ول ڈسکس دا انٹروڈکشن آف دا آرگینک کیمسٹری اینڈ آرگینک کمپاؤنڈز جتنے بھی طرح کے کیمیکل کمپاؤنڈز ہیں دے آر موسٹلی آف ٹو ٹائپس آرگینک اینڈ ان آرگینک آرگینک کمپاؤنڈز آر دوز کمپاؤنڈز وچ آر وچ آر اوپٹین فرام لیونگ آرگینزمس فار ایگزامپل ایسٹک ایسڈ از اوپٹین فرام ونیگر ٹاٹرک ایسڈ از اوپٹین فرام grapes and uh, alcohol is obtained from wine these are all the organic compounds having the na- their natural sources while inorganic compounds are those, com- those compounds which have mineral sources they are derived from earth ground for example table salt marble carbon dioxide these are all the inorganic compounds so we can say uh, in old time in ancient time we we uh, we say that uh, organic chemistry is uh, concerned with the chemistry of living organisms or the compounds of living organisms but later on researches in um, uh, different experiments showed that organic compounds essentially should contain carbon atom if This definition is valid about organic compound then carbon dioxide carbon disulfide carbonate bicarbonate cyanides thiocyanates these these are all uh, included this should also be included in organic chemistry but these are not uh, studied under organic chemistry these are included in inorganic chemistry so what is the definition now of organic chemistry now in the modern time we define organic chemistry as study of hydrocarbons and their derivatives and what are hydrocarbon these are the compounds of carbon and hydrogen essentially these are the compounds of carbon and hydrogen so this is the modern definition of organic com- compounds and organic chemistry now we will discuss the sources of organic compounds sources of organic compounds contain fossil fuels uh, like uh, are from or fossil fuels like coal petroleum and natural gas coal is the major source of organic compound it contains more than 200 organic compounds and these uh, organic compounds can be isolated or separated from coal by destructive distillation it includes a useful organic compounds aromatic compounds perfumes du- drugs dyes photographic developers and other compounds petroleum is a thick sticky black liquid that seeps out of the ground it also contain many organic compounds many useful organic compounds these are obtained from petroleum by its uh, fractional distillation then natural gas is a mixture of low boiling hydrocarbons especially methane natural gas uh, is 85% methane it may contain a little amount of ethane propane and butane as well in pakistan we have vast reserves of uh, natural gas at balochistan sindh and punjab plants and natural product chemistry uh, natural products are the products which are obtained from plants and animal sources like silk wool um, food proteins fats and oil these are all the categories of pro- protein fats and oil in addition we can also get carbohydrates like cellulose sugar starches and we can get alkaloids like quinine morphine strychnine hormone vitamins perfumes flavors resins these are all the organic compounds which are obtained from natural sources like plants and animals now we will discuss about the partial and total synthesis partial synthesis uh, uh, synth- actually synthesis is the formation or the preparation of the compounds here we have two types of synthesis that is partial synthesis and total synthesis the topic of partial and total synthesis cover the aspect of organic compound that uh, some uh, synthetic organic compounds uh, can uh, have the capacity to replace the natural products obtained from the natural resources for example we have uh, uh, synthetic organic compounds like dyes rubber fiber plastics drugs vitamins etc these organic compounds are synthetic and they can replace the natural one sometimes the synthetic ones are more superior to the natural compounds for example the synthetic dyes 
synthetic dyes are the chemicals which are used to color the different fiber and different materials synthetic dyes dyes sometimes are more are superior than the natural one so in the synthetic organic chemistry cover almost all the aspects of life every aspect of life next is fermentation fermentation is uh, defined as the production of chemicals by the action of microorganisms in this process we use microorganisms and we produce many useful products next is coal coal is a source of organic compound uh, here we will uh, discuss the flow sheet diagram of the destructive distillation of coal first of all when coal is uh, subjected to destructive distillation we get these fractions carbon gas coke coal tar ammonical liquor and crude coal gas crude coal gas when further subjected to this process it uh, it produces benzoyl coal gas which is methane cyanide sulfur compounds and when fractional distillation of uh, the coal is done we get benzoyl toluene xylene naphthalene phenols and many other useful organic compounds now we will discuss the characteristics of the organic compounds organic compounds uh, have some general properties which are described here composition if we talk about the composition the organic compounds have carbon as an essential element now then combustion organic compounds uh, due to high percentage of carbon they are combustible in nature they catch fire melting and boiling points they have usually their low melting points and uh, boiling points are also low that's why they are volatile in nature and if we talk about the solubility of organic compounds organic compounds are being non polar they are soluble in non polar solvents like alcohol ether benzene etc they are Uh, very less soluble in water sometimes they are insoluble in water stability organic compounds uh, organic compounds be- because they have low melting and low boiling points so at a very elevated temperature they get decomposed so they are not so stable next electrical conductivity due to the presence of covalent bond in them organic compounds are poor conductor of electricity sources most organic compounds are obtained from plants and animals rate of reaction their rate of reaction are very slow because uh, they are uh, non polar and they are not very reactive as well if we talk about the uses of organic compounds as we have earlier told you that organic compound organic chemistry or the synthetic organic chemistry almost it is every aspect or every phase of life so the uses of organic compounds are very widely distributed in our daily life they have almost application in our daily life in all the aspects of our daily life the clothes we wear the dyes we color the soap we use the detergents we use the pharmacy or the medicines we use the cosmetics we use all uh, are the products of the organic chemistry now we will discuss one by one their tremendous tremendous importance of organic compounds first of all food food contain protein fats carbohydrate oils all these are organic compounds then we will talk about the clothing cotton silk wool nylon rayon dacron these are all the fibers which are used to make different types of textile and fi- clothing these all are the Uh, organic compounds then shelter shelter contains wood paints varnishes which are used to uh, renovate or we, which are used to make our homes and houses these are all the products of organic chemistry power and transportation natural gas petroleum products coal these are all the uh, use of uh, organic compounds in power and transportation medicine and drugs are also the uh, um, compounds of uh, organic chemistry insecticides insecticides are the medicines which used to kill the insects like ddt these are all the organic substances hormone and steroids are also organic compounds vitamin and enzymes antiseptics and anti- anesthetics antiseptics are the medicine which is used to I kill the microorganisms from the uh, from any uh, medium and anesthetics are the are organic compounds or the compounds which are used to, to anesthetize to give anesthesia to a patient prior to the surgery pigments and dyes pigments and dyes are also used to color different um, uh, fibers or different material paper and ink is has a wide use in our daily life perfumes and flavors are also the uh, products of organic chemistry plastics rubber uh, in fact 
every aspect of life in every phase of life is affected by organic chemistry has the application of organic chemistry in them and this topic this article reveals the tremendous importance of organic chemistry in our daily life now we will talk about the new allotropes of carbon as we have uh, studied in our earlier classes about the allotropic forms allotropic forms are the forms of an element which have uh, same chemical properties but they have different physical uh, properties we have uh, a previous knowledge that carbon has uh, allotropic form like uh, coal and diamond and graphite these are all the these were all the allotropic forms of carbon as we have studied earlier but now we have another new uh, allotrope of carbon that is buckyball the full name of buckyball is buckminster fullerenes it was named after the scientist or the architect who discovered this uh, uh, allotrope of carbon it is a hollow cage like structure ball like structure football like structure it contains 60 carbon atom the minimum number of carbon atoms in one uh, hollow ball is 60 and uh, these have also very important uh, organic uh, applications this is about today's lecture uh, next topic we will discuss in the next lecture till then allah hafiz take care